Hey guys, Richie here in a Cascadia with a digital dash. I just want to go over the complete functionality of this dash. So first of all, um, take a look at the steering wheel here. You'll see each of the steering wheel controls have changed. And now uh, this side here, this is acting as a touchpad to operate the left screen. And this guy here is opting as a touchpad to operate the right screen. So what you'll see is as I scroll my finger to the right here, you can see that the road lights up and then again to the right and you can see these little dots appear. So if, as I'm on the right, if I wanna ro roll my finger down, you can see that there's different options appear on the screen there. So first option is gonna be some trip information. And then the next option there is gonna be your uh, fuel consumption and then the last two are both radio options for you in the middle You can choose only two things uh, nothing on that road in front of you or your current pass smart minutes remaining Also, you can see here in the middle. This is the ambient temperature outside the current temperature this is your how fast you're driving and what you're limited to and then the current gear that you're in. Here are your two air gauges and then also showing that your park brake is engaged. So primary and secondary there. On the left side, this is your fuel and your def. And then also if you wanna access a couple gauges on the left side, uh, most gauge options in the truck are available uh, just as a quick easy viewing on this screen here and then we're gonna roll over to the right side screen here uh, so first thing to notice is on the bottom are a bunch of quick access buttons so say you wanted to get right to the lighting in the truck you click this uh, lighting would show up on the screen or you want to see what uh, what media you're playing you click that your Bluetooth would be showing or maybe you want to go right into the gauges boom you're there and you can type this hit this button again and again and it'll cycle through the three different gauge options that you have in the truck there uh, so the engine idle timer just did pop up I'm gonna hit okay or push in on this part here and that'll get rid of the notification that was on the screen uh, and I'm just gonna roll through quickly a few of the other options that are available on this secondary screen here. I'm gonna start by hitting the home button in the top. And that's gonna bring me to all of the options. And then again, I'm gonna use this button to scroll through what the options are here. Most of these are available just from those bottom buttons here on the bottom of the secondary screen. But if you prefer, you can use the touch screen or the steering wheel controls to get through all of this. Uh, I think that's a pretty thorough overview, um, but I will just click into these just so we can see what we're looking at as well. So again, that brings you to a few different options here. Um, if you need to get into your optimized idle, just that button at the top and then click on your optimized idle and you choose with or without comfort mode right from there. Uh, this is your favorite screen that you can customize there. And then just the settings menu again, down the bottom corner. All right, love the digital dash in these trucks. If you have any questions, give me a call. Richie here at First Truck Center in Abbotsford.